The fintech industry has grown and done really well in the last couple of years. It's one of the industries where we're hearing lots of unicorns emerge. And by unicorns, I mean businesses valued at over $1 billion. Now, Flutterway from Nigeria is one of the fintechs that has attained this status recently. Despite the pandemic last year, fintechs not only survived, but they actually thrived, and it's evidenced by investors committing over $44 billion to fintechs in 2020. All of a sudden, with the advent of technology, finance has become cool again, and increasingly more and more millennials are looking to work in fintech as a career option. But what kinds of skills are most sought after by fintechs? In this video, I will highlight some of the most in-demand skills that you can acquire to make yourself attractive to the fintech industry. Stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time, then welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel, I speak about agile transformation, digital strategy, and personal development. Working in a fintech has made me pay more attention to the fintech industry in general. Lots of people have asked me what kind of skills are required to be effective in this industry, which is why I decided to do some further research in order to answer that question. But before I get into the list of skills, I first want to put in the caveat that fintech, just like most companies, have lots of traditional departments like legal, marketing, finance, which require the commensurate traditional skill set as with any other company. The lists I will be sharing are more related to trending skills that are most in demand in the fintech space right now. So there will be timestamps in the video, so feel free to jump around to hear more about the skills that interest you the most. If that's understood, then let's begin with the technical skills before jumping into the more softer skills. Starting off with number one, software programming. Now I guess that's pretty obvious. Considering that this is the tech industry and the main advantage that fintech startups have over their larger banks and financial institutions is their ability to innovate around things like user experience and flexible architecture. Software programmers are very much in demand, especially the highly skilled programmers who can build apps, websites and full stack platforms because they are critical to innovation in an innovation driven industry. So if you are a software developer or thinking of becoming one, just know that the fintech industry has a need for you and you should consider that as part of your career options. Next is blockchain and cryptocurrency. The need for blockchain experts has mainly been driven by the explosion of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple and, and many more. Now, blockchain is the underlying technology that facilitates the use of these cryptos as a shared, open, and transparent ledger system. It enables things like the lending, transferring, moving, reconciling of cryptocurrency around the world. But because blockchain is such a complex technology to understand and implement, there is actually a shortage of people who can understand that ecosystem and build applications within its environment. LinkedIn recently reported that the demand for blockchain developers is growing about 30% year on year and we can only expect that number to continue rising as cryptocurrencies become more widely adopted by financial institutions and by the broader world. Next is data specialists. There is a statistic that 2.5 quintillion bytes of data are produced by humans every day. Now, Do you know how much that is? I have no idea either but it definitely sounds like a lot. Now to break that down, 1.7 megabytes of data is created every second and it's estimated that 90% of the world's data was created in the last two years alone. Now as technology redefines financial services, it creates huge amounts of useful data that needs to be analyzed and interpreted. One major difference between fintechs and large financial institutions is that the larger companies often fail to convert all the data that they've gotten into useful insights. Therefore, people with expertise in data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data are essential to help companies make sense of the raw data and to draw insightful conclusions about their customers. Cybersecurity. Because a lot more financial institutions have gone digital and are using the internet to facilitate their processes and to offer their services, a new breed of cyber criminals has emerged. Fintech startups have been especially vulnerable to attacks of cyber criminals, which can have severe impact beyond just losing money. Information can be lost, 
it damages your reputation, and it can lead to strained business relationships. Now, because of this, cybersecurity experts are very much sought after by fintechs and financial institutions in general to help them safeguard their systems from cyber criminals and from hackers and also protect their customer transactions and funds. As cyber criminals get smarter, institutions are also seeking out highly skilled cybersecurity experts to combat the rise of cyber criminal attacks. Financial knowledge. Now, considering that fintech is still predominantly targeted at offering financial services, having financial literacy is key to understanding and contributing to the ultimate goal of the fintech. So having financial services expertise, probably from your prior work experience, helps a lot. Or having those business analysis skills that allow you to translate problems that exist in the traditional financial services so that the technologists can understand is a very good skill to have if you want to be attracted to the fintech industry. All right, now jumping into the soft skills. Fintech companies also value these soft skills as an important asset that they look out for when they're recruiting. And the first would be communication skills. All the technical skills aside, it is very important that you're able to get your point across in a clear and concise manner. You need to be able to communicate effectively with your team, to brainstorm ideas, and to collaboratively solve critical problems. In some cases, you will be engaging with partners and serving as a representative of the company externally. Hence, fintechs look out for people with strong powers of oratory who can represent them the right way. So you need to be a good communicator. If this is a skill that you want to work on, maybe you should consider joining a Toastmasters club. Creativity and problem solving. The fintech industry and startups in particular face a lot of technological, legal, and regulatory challenges and just unexpected events. Professionals in the fintech industry are required to have analytical and critical thinking skills to help them solve some of these unexpected problems. It's important to have that creativity and problem solving ability to be able to break down these large problems into smaller, more manageable tasks so that they can be solved more efficiently and effectively. Adaptability and flexibility. The fintech industry is rapidly changing and often it's a volatile environment. Professionals in this space need to be able to adapt to the rapid pace of change and have the flexibility to pivot and change direction or strategy as the need arises. You can't afford to remain entrenched in traditional practices because what worked in the past may not work in the future. So simply put, you need to be able to quickly accept change and not be resistant to change people management and emotional intelligence. Now in the fintech space, you will most likely be working with agile and cross-functional teams and also with vendors and different partners. You'll be working under pressure with tight deadlines and in order to get work done, you need to be able to maintain good relationships with your partners and your coworkers in order to get the best out of them and deliver your work on time so you can achieve your goals. Being able to work well with others and having that emotional maturity and intelligence is considered an asset by recruiters in the fintech space. So friends, those are some of the top technical and soft skills that are sought after by the fintech industry. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. And if there are any key skills that you feel I left out, feel free to post them in the comment section. And until next time, have an amazing week and cheers guys.